Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to talk about the sun settings in Rhino. Uh, so we were under the standard menu before. Uh, if you go through the menus up here, you see that we have a specific toolbar for render tools. I'm going to go here and click on the toggle lights panel and you can find the sun here. You can turn it on, but apparently nothing happened. So here's the thing, you need to change the view to rendered and now you can see that actually it's uh, a lot different if the sun is on or off. Let's double click here and uh, you see the sun settings here. I want to start by assigning the correct location. Uh, first, let's see if I click here. Uh, let's wait a couple seconds to see if it's going to be able to figure it out. So yes, apparently it's going to work. So yeah, when you click here, uh, if your internet is on and everything, it found the location correctly, uh, Toronto, Canada. Very good. So I'm going to keep it on Toronto. I'm going to move here. And now you can go through different times uh, of the year. Uh, how about I go with like today's date or January, February. And we can kind of take a look at different times of the day to see which one creates some interesting shadows here. Maybe something like this one. You can also change the date. So if you go to July, uh, June or July, you can have a summer day. I'm going to keep it here. Uh, so now the location is good. The date and time is set. Uh, so I want to close this panel and I want to show you more settings which are available under file properties. Uh, so there are so many different things here. For instance, under document properties, we have the render options. You can also turn the sun on and off from here. Uh, you can check the lights here. You can check the sunlight, the color of the light and everything. Another option which is interesting in this menu is actually the backdrop. You see we have option for solid color which is set to gray now. I can actually click here, go to different colors, select any color here, go with OK. And if, if I hit OK, it's going to change the sky color to that one. Uh, and you see, again, it's only going to show when it's set to rendered. Okay, uh, I can go there. I can go back to my properties. You can also make a gradient if you want. So I can go with a different color here. Okay, okay. So now you see there is kind of a gradient here. Another interesting setting is again under file properties. You remember that the settings under document properties are specifically for this file. Uh, settings under Rhino options are basically uh, applied to all your files on Rhino. So if I go to view to display modes, you see that we have different modes here too. You can change how you want the grid, the objects or shadow look like in any of these modes. Uh, now that it's unrendered, if I go to shadows, uh, you can play with the shadows. Uh, see what happens when I move this to the right. It's going to actually change how sharp the shadows look. So when I move this to the right, you see the shadows are going to be sharper. Uh, you can change even the color of the shadows if you want it to have a little bit of blue. Or maybe that's too much. A little bit of blue inside the shadow. So something like that. Uh, you can work with the intensity of the shadow. You can also restore the defaults. Uh, you can even assign how blurry the edges are. Okay. Now let's say we want to have an image for the background. We need to go back to the same location that we set the sun. Toggle lights panel. This option here uh, allows us to go to the background mode. Uh, and there are some options at the bottom. You need to scroll down under basic environment settings. I want to see what happens if I assign an image from here. So I'm going to click here, uh, select the sky. And actually I need to switch back to the environment mode for this image to work. There we go. Now you can see the image. Uh, we can 
different options to fix it here. We can go with planner. Uh, you can try different things here. Spherical, um, planner, box, uh, or different adjustments. I'm going to go with planner. Uh, now the general settings for the sun and the sky seems good. Uh, we need to also assign materials so it's going to look more realistic. Uh, that's something we're going to talk about in the next videos.